I'm Jonathan Roldan and I've been here in La Paz for 16 years and we run a fishing operation here in La Paz. I've fished all over the place. I fish in Canada, Alaska, all over Mexico. I fished in South America, I fished in Central America, I fished in Hawaii and Asia. And something always just kept bringing me back here to Mexico and especially here to Baja and La Paz area. You know, that's one of the most unique things. People come here to fish for all kinds of things. They have certain things in mind, but what's really unique about coming here and fishing to La Paz is there's so much variety. We've got tuna, wahoo, dorado, pargo, amberjack, blue marlin, black marlin, striped marlin. On any given day, on any given day of the year, I can probably produce 10 to 15 different species of fish. You just really never know what you're gonna catch here. This is a spectacular place to live. The cost of living is great, quality of life is good. You can get a lot for your dollar, for your pesos, whatever it may be. It's just a very, very tranquil lifestyle. It's probably very, very unique from many places in the world. I grew up in Hawaii, and this is very similar to that. Nobody's in a hurry, the sun's always shining, the climate's great. A cold day here is in the 60s and 70s, a warm day here maybe in the 90s. Some days you don't even think about the climate. People are great, prices are great, rent's great. It's just a great place to live. On an average day fishing, we go about five or six in the morning. We want to get there in time to get the bait. We're on the beach or we're on the docks. Everybody gets on the boats. And then a lot, largely a fishing day will go to about three or four o'clock in the afternoon. Sometimes folks come back early. Like today, for instance, our boats were loaded. The guys caught all the fish they wanted to. They were on the beach at 10.30, playing in the water while the captains were cleaning the fish. But generally speaking, an average day lasts from about five in the morning till about three or four in the afternoon. In terms of equipment, it's really, really simple fishing. It's not real complicated, so you don't need a lot of gear to begin with. So if you want to bring stuff down, don't overload yourself. Keep it really simple. For most people, they don't want to even do that. We rent stuff. There's always stuff in the boats. And again, it's not really complicated fishing. It's basically a hook, put the bait on it, and you're fishing. It's that easy. So the most experienced person or the most novice person can still have a great time. 99 and 9 tenths percent of the fishing is done in pongas. These are seaworthy 22 to 24 foot skiffs. We don't go out very far. We're not trolling 30, 40, 50 miles offshore. In fact, for all of our fishing, we're never out of sight of land. And it's live bait fishing. And the great thing about the Sea of Cortez, there's no big waves. It's almost like a lake most times. So it makes it really easy to fish. There's nothing better than fish that was swimming around that day and eating it that evening. His bad day is your good dinner. Every restaurant here in town, whether it's our restaurant, whether it's the restaurant at your hotel, bring your catch in. There are so many different ways to cook it and nothing's better than eating fresh, fresh fish that evening.